just spent the last like five minutes trying to make myself look more presentable and choose a good filter for today but this is the best it's going to get so we're just going to roll with it um today i am here to pep talk you guys again because i'm getting lots of beautiful feedback that you're enjoying the pep talks and they're um helping and you enjoyed them so i thought i'm just going to keep them going and i love to give them to you so there we go um today i want to talk to you guys about uh choices and the choices that we make uh not just in like actual like big life choices but the choices um of the thoughts that we decide to think so i came across this really great video this morning um that my partner recent to me and it just kind of like reminded me about how the language we, that we use and the, the things that we choose to do every day and the and the thoughts that we choose to think completely uh impact our outlook on life completely impact our experience in life so things like you know i wake up in the morning and oh god i have to go you know do the dishes or i have to go to work today or i have to see this person today and having to change that language around instead of i have to or i've got to is that i replacing the word have to or oh i've, I've got to do this to i get to do this i get to do the dishes because i have food in my house and i have people who I have loved ones who eat off the dishes in my house. I get to go to work because I'm employed. I get to go meet with my friend for coffee because I have the freedom to do so. I get to put petrol in my car because I can afford a fucking car and I can afford to put petrol in it. Like how much more powerful does it sound to replace have to with get to? It's so funny because we do get to this point of entitlement, you know, of this point of, oh gosh, like, oh, I have to do this. I have to clean the house. I have to see these people. I have to do this. And it's like the, the fundamental part of gratitude is, is receivership and be, being aware of what you have and what you get on a daily basis. And when it comes to manifesting or wanting more in our lives, if we don't focus on actually what we already have and what's already abundant in our lives, it's really hard for us to manifest anything better. Um, well, not better, but anything more. And even from the point of, if you are walking around being like, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, such a low vibration energy, and we were speaking about vibrations the other day, is such a low vibration energy of this, I have to, I have to. And your perception of life is so fucking negative when it's like that. Like everything that you have to do every day is have to instead of I get to. It's just such a crazy, just it's such a simple switch from that negative low vibration to a higher positive vibration of I get to. And at the end of the day as well, if you have to do something in your day and you can't replace that to be a get to, as in, if you can't find a way to be like, I get to and make it a positive, then why the fuck are you doing it? You make a choice every single day to live your life and to live the experience that you live. You choose the thoughts that you want to think every day. You may think that's out of your control, but you actually choose to think the same thoughts that you think on repeat. So you have the power to choose differently. You have the power to choose a different experience. You have the power to quit your job if you fucking want to. You have the power to pack up and leave your country if you want to. Um, yeah, maybe more difficult at the moment because of the way the world is, but there are ways to do it. You have the power to leave your relationship this is really fucking morbid but you have the power to leave your entire fucking life behind if you want to not that that's the best choice always but just to show you how much power you have and how much freedom you have and how many choices you have so it's so easy for us to fall into this again pity party of like i've got to do this this is my life now this is the way it is and it's like well nobody's actually impressing that upon you you're a fucking free human being with free will so you can make that choice to change it if you actually really fucking want to and maybe you fucking don't that's fine too. But if you do desire a bigger life, a greater life, something new, more love, more abundance, more excitement, just more from life, then you're going to have to make a choice. And sometimes the choice isn't easy. Like having to change your thought patterns and having to change a thought that you've had on repeat for like however many years of your life of life is shit, this is hard, I have to do this. It's going to take work. Like it's simple in its task as in you just change the language, but it is effort and it's consistency and it's a habit that you've built for a really long time. So it's going to take time to fucking change it. And if you want to change big things in your life like your relationship your workplace where you live you know huge things there are going to be consequences there's going to be risks associated with this but I just want you to keep coming back to the fact that you get to make the choice every single fucking day you get to choose the thoughts that you think you get to choose your experience in the world you get to choose who you hang out with you have so much fucking choice so stop saying that you can't do something because some exterior force is impressing it upon you. You have that choice every fucking day. So I feel like this one was a bit of like a more slap in the face pep talk today, but I hope that um, the message sits well with you and it resonates with the right people. Um, you know, if you're still here and you're still listening, then I feel like the message has hit um, true with you. If you want to chat about it, if you want to talk more about it, if you've got anything to say, feel free to DM me and I'd love to chat to you more about this. But I really just hope that, um, you know, if anything you took away from this is, is that slight language change from I have to do this to I get to do this and just watch the world shift 
around you. Um, you know, gratitude is such an amazing practice and there's literal science behind this to show that when we practice gratitude, we change the matter in our brain so we can change the way that we perceive the world. And if you want to have a happier experience, if you want to see the world more optimistically, if you want to see the opportunities that are always around you and call more into your life, then you're going to have to make a change and you're going to have to shift your perception. And that starts with gratitude. And that starts with changing your language from I have to to I get.